Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel is Sleep Art Game and Eat, and today I'm showing this strange attack frigate or attack ship that I've built. It's, you know, believe it or not, you're actually looking at the front of the ship, even though it looks a bit like sh what should be the back. That is the back of the ship, and this is the attack frigates or attack ship's main array of attack weapons. It's only defense, it's only offense. The front of it's pretty bland, mainly because this was a test of an idea. And of course, weapons currently don't work, but once we get weapons working in this game, oh my, I cannot wait to see how these actually function. One of my main ideas with them, though, is that if one turret is taken out, as it turns around, there's always going to be another turret facing the enemy and making it more difficult for the enemy just to take out turrets. Also, if these turrets are, let's say, chasing an enemy fighter as it tries to fly around the ship like that, you could be in this turret, you'd see the enemy fighter there begin shooting at him, and as this turns, you'd be able to keep on target with him as it spins around until he's gone to the other side, and then, of course, there's a bunch of other turrets doing the same thing on the other side. As for how they're spinning, I basically started down here and built basically this little setup here, stuck a motor on it, built everything else out, stuck a power supply in there, stuck the turrets on it, and then stuck a motor directly connected to that power supply, and then just repeated that thing all the way down to the end, where I just have a power supply and no motor in the final piece there. If we fly over to the main, well, main body of the ship, it's not the main part of the ship, because, well, it's a big, strange ship. I can't really choose what would be the main part of it, because without all this, this is pointless. So, but in the main... Well, the main control area of the ship, that's what I'll call it. We have our engines to move side to side and laid behind there, and the same over there behind that. And then we actually have a few engines facing backwards right here, and you can actually see them through this vent. We have a slightly slanted slope leading down into it where you can see the engine in there. And we basically have that on all four of these the cells on the sides, and basically the idea is if the engines were actually affected by ramps or other things, the fumes would be shooting out there, there, and down there, shooting out the same way. But of course, overall, they'd be equal, so the ship would move forward. And then to stop the ship, we just have really simple engines behind here, facing forward. And this strange thing here is the control room, which is basically the only room in the ship, because as I said, or maybe I didn't say, but the ship is a test of theory in a lot of ways. So here's the control room, very simple, nothing special about it at all. If we were to cut through this wall, you can see the inner workings of the ship, which is nothing special. It's just an assortment of generators and a lot of gyroscopes that turn the ship. Now let's fly back in here and actually take it for a test drive now. Let's show you some of the strangeness that might happen when the ship moves and also how it actually is surprisingly still quite stable. So we hop in here. And right away, you can see the mass of the ship. I was originally building this to enter into a small competition or a challenge that somebody challenged me and somebody else to build an attack frigate. But, um, yeah, I pretty quickly overshot the maximum weight or mass that we were supposed to be stuck with. So, so much for that. Anyway, if I begin moving the ship forward, doesn't look like we're moving. Yep, yeah, we are indeed moving. And as long as we stay in a straight line, we'll have no trouble at all from all those spinning attacked things on the back of the ship. But of course, if I was to turn too quickly, you might notice they may start to sway and do other strange things. So I've stopped trying to turn and see now they're sort of flinging out. They're actually staying pretty lined up with the rest of the ship, but they are making us turn a lot quicker. And if I try to stop and go back the other way to the left, you can see now we have a bit of a wobble. But overall, actually, for such a strange setup, it does handle pretty well. Every now and again, you see some sparks with the engines and the metal can get bent, so you gotta be careful. But what I'm gonna actually do now is show you what happens if I crash this ship into an asteroid in reverse, which means all those little dangly bits are gonna hit first. What happens is actually pretty damn awesome. So really quickly, I'm gonna line it up and then ram it into this big asteroid over here. So there we go, got it lined up now. Took me a while, actually, because, of course, when I'm trying to line something up backwards, all the controls are reversed. Bit strange. Anyway, here we are, lined up. Actually, going to try to aim it downwards a bit more. There we go. Now watch this awesome impact. There we go. And you see, as it hits, all the joints slam into each other. And a lot of them break free in different ways. It, <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, if I try to fly away, you can see because each piece has its own power supply and their own motors, any pieces that are still connected and those motors didn't actually break each other when they all crumpled up as I impacted, they're going to keep spinning even though they're now free-floating. 
kind of cool is that. This uh, thing should be up on the Steam Workshop either today or tomorrow. If you want to download it and fiddle with it yourself. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Well, let's just drop one of those. Yeah, it's pretty big. Maybe a bit bigger, eh? Maybe something a bit bigger. Let's see. Is that big bigger? Just yeah, maybe just a bit. Okay, let's let's stop moving here. Maybe uh something like this. Yeah, I think we're inside it. Let's let's back out a bit and oh yeah, yeah, that's that's a fair bit bigger.